Hi, I'm Adam Bombadi, and today I'm going to show you how I made the wing stick from Rage 2. Uh, the template as well as all of the items I used in this video are going to be in the description below. So enjoy! First, I took the existing wing stick template and printed it out in a size that I thought would be appropriate and realistic. I used references of the wing stick in hand to get it to a size that I liked. Then I cut out the template and traced it onto 12mm foam. I cut out the pattern. This would be my base. To get all the detail pieces without destroying the template, I traced over the parts I needed with tracing paper. This included the centerpiece, and the pieces for the handle. I traced out the detail part of the centerpiece so that I could make it its own separate piece. I marked on the wing stick where the cuts would go for the two of the blades and proceeded to cut them out carefully with an X-Acto knife. I took out my tracing paper handle template, both sides for front and back, and traced on a 6mm craft foam, then cut it out. I did the same for one of the little detail pieces of the handle, again, both sides for front and back. And the same for the centerpiece. I cut out the detail part of the centerpiece on 2mm craft foam. For the raised bit, I traced around one of my acrylic paint caps onto 6mm foam and cut it out. I marked in the center where I wanted the hole to go and cut that out as well. I measured and marked out where the actual blades were on the wing stick, then dremeled the edges down to give it that tapered, sharp edge. I recommend using a flexi shaft attachment for your Dremel as it gives you a lot more room. The angle on this part of the video is bad however, so it looks like I'm just Dremeling the sides right off. I marked the pattern on the back as well and Dremeled away. I also rounded out the edges of the rest of the wing stick so that my jagged cuts wouldn't be as noticeable and the edges wouldn't look as hard. I used three different homemade sanding sticks, basically sandpaper of different grits glued to paint sticks. I start with the lowest grit, then work my way to high. I started with the 80, then the 120, then 320. I sanded the outer edges as well as the inside details the best that I could. I didn't want the backside to have the grippy pattern on it, so I dremeled it away the best that I could. In hindsight though, I would have also hand sanded to make it extra smooth and not rush through it. I blasted everything with my heat gun so that the pores on the foam would close up. This is critical before painting. If you had any minor blemishes with the sanding, this will also help smooth them up. I decided I also wanted to add the detail piece that went on top of the handle, so I traced that out on tracing paper and cut it out. I also traced around the screws. I transferred all the detail pieces to 2mm foam. I made two of each top handle and doubles of each screw for the front and the back. I used super glue to attach the screws to the detail piece of the handle. I used contact cement to attach the foam center pieces together. Use one thin layer, wait for the adhesive to get tacky but not fully dry, add another thin layer, then once it's tacky again, attach the pieces together. I used three layers of black plastic dip as my primer. Spray one layer at a time, wait before dry before adding another layer. Make sure you are in a well-ventilated area and wear a proper respirator. Gloves are a good idea too. I make sure, once dry, that I flip the pieces over and repeated the process on the back.
For the handles, I went with white Plastidip, but realized after that this probably wasn't necessary, as I would be covering it in tape anyway. Oh well. After the primer layer was fully dry, I used masking tape to cover the bladed areas, as I was going to be painting the body only at the moment. I used a matte hammered spray paint by Rust-Oleum because I wanted that slight textured look. It's hard to see the effects on video, but it's apparent in person. I coated it with two layers. After that was fully dry, I masked off the body of the wing stick to paint the blades. I used Rust-Oleum's high performance wheel spray paint because I was out of normal spray paint at the time. Two layers provided to be good enough for this. For the handle, I used a reference photo and layered on white and red duct tape where it seemed to match. I did the same to both the front and the back. I painted the duct tape with an off-white acrylic color to give it a more aged look, but as you'll see in the next video, a lot of the off-white color smudged off when I smudged around the black paint. Our handles look way too clean. In order to give them that grimy look, I used black acrylic paint, painted all over the handles, then smudged it around with a paper towel. Due to the slippery surface of the duct tape, the paint would come off easily just on touch, so I added a couple of layers of matte clear coat in order to help the paint stay in place. Before attaching the top part of the centerpiece, I traced inside of the circle so I could tell where to add contact cement. Then I did the same process as before, thin layers until tacky. For the wing nut, I just used a real wing nut instead of bothering to make one. I distressed it in the same way I did everything else with black paint and paper towels. Like the duct tape, I coated it with several coats of matte clear coat before handling again to prevent paint from smudging off. Using contact cement again, I added some to the bottom of the wing nut as well as to the inside and outer edges of the circle piece. Two layers, then when tacky, stuck them together. I went ahead and grimed up the blades as well as parts of the body, not taking any care or giving any Fs. I used a mix of silver and black paint to get an onyxy color to dab on the blades with a dry brush to bring back some of the silver. To add even more contrast between the body and the blade, I added black outlines to the edges and smudged them up by finger a bit. I also added more shadow into the detail parts. I traced around the edge of the handle onto the base so I knew where to apply contact cement first, then added the adhesive to the base area and the back of the handle. I used two layers here. Now attaching one of the handle detail pieces in the same way. and the middle piece. I bought some red wire from the hardware store to use the electronic looking components, though I wish I could have gone a bit thicker with the wire. I did rough measurements and cut where I thought appropriate, leaving it slightly longer than needed because some of the wire would dig into the foam. I thought about using my Dremel to drill the holes, but I was too worried that I might make the hole too big or miss, so I just took the drill bit and made the holes by hand. It was much safer this way and the foam was still soft and easy enough to push into. Then I took super glue to the ends of the wires before sticking them in. I wanted to make more use of the wire, so I added a strip between two foam pieces, glued down with super glue. I also wanted to add some detail parts on the top of the handle, so I painted on parts using a photo as reference and dug in some wires to make it appear as if it was coming out of the box. To help everything look uniform and dirty, I added special effect makeup powdered dirt to the whole wing stick. I sprinkled some on lightly, then used my hand to rub and smudge it.
I had to be very careful that the matte finishing clear coat would not blow the dust away nor make it look too wet, not like dirt, so I held the spray can far away and did about five misted layers, one layer at a time. The dirt came out a little darker as expected, but I can always pack more on before a shoot if needed. And that's it! If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Um, like, subscribe, follow me on other social medias for more content, and thank you so much for watching!